New Day Spa. Have you ever been there? Yeah, it's like they have a billboard somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Well, on Highland, there's a billboard, but it's like on 7th or something. But I'll give you, I just have the lady's number. I just text her and she always gets me in like the day or the next day. And they're pretty good. So I'll give you that info before I leave. Just remind me. Okay, shall we, my friends? Let me just make sure my... Okay, let's go ahead and get started just laying down. So go ahead and just lay down on your back. <clears throat> and as you lay down, it might feel really good. Just stretch your arms long, your legs long. And then eventually come to rest with your feet on the ground and your knees bent. And your arms can either just rest down by your sides, or if you want, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and close your eyes for a moment. So just take a moment to feel your body on the ground and to really let it relax as much as possible. Notice if you're holding any tension through your face, your forehead, your jaw. And then just by noticing, see if you can relax and soften just a little bit more. And the next time you breathe in, very intentionally fill up as big as you can. Hold at the top of that breath in fullness. And then open your mouth and take a big sigh. Let it go. <sighs> yeah, and again, just like that. Great big inhale. Fill up. When you think you're full, see if you can even take an extra little sip. And then big sigh, release. <sighs> Good, one more time, just like that. Great big inhale. Hold, and see if you can keep holding your breath, but just relax and soften around your held breath. When you're ready, open your mouth and just let it go. Good. Seal your lips now and see if you can start to cultivate ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. So the inhale is like you're taking a really, really deep, slow motion gas. And the exhale is like you're fogging up a window, but your lips are sealed over the breath. So you start to create a little whisper noise or an oceanic sound as you breathe in, breathe out. Just follow that sound with your awareness. And if you can't quite get this breath today, if it doesn't quite click, no big deal. Just breathe in any way you can, but a little bit deeper than you usually would just in your everyday life. So making your breath slow, steady, spacious, and intentional. So keep this breath moving and flowing. And everybody draw your knees towards your belly, just gently. You can grab hold of your kneecaps, backs of thighs, fronts of shins. And just take a little rock from side to side. Give your low back a nice little massage against the ground. And then as you're ready, just let your knees fall over to the right. And left arm either extends out to the left or cactus position with your left arm. And gaze up or over your left shoulder. Yeah. And then send your breath down into your belly. So it might be a little bit harder to breathe deeply as your body is in a twist. But just a little extra effort behind your inhales. And then as you exhale, see if you can really just let your body relax and melt into the twist a little bit more. Take about two or three more slow, deep breaths. And as much as you are able to, keep the back of your left shoulder rooted down. If it lifts a little bit, that's okay. 
to have the intention of rooting down through the backs of both shoulders. Good. End of your next exhalation, slowly bring your knees back up and take that little rock just to kind of neutralize. So hug your knees in, just a gentle rock. Maybe you even lift your head and wrap your arms around the front of your shins. Give your knees a big squeeze. And then as you're ready, other side. So knees fall to the left, right arm out to the right. And if you want, you can kind of scoot your hips around. So this should feel somewhat comfortable and sustainable. You should be able to feel your breath move down into your belly. So those big, spacious inhales, send them all the way down. And then exhale all the way to emptiness. See if you can just let your body melt. Gaze up or over your right shoulder, whatever feels better on your neck. Soften your face, your jaw. And just feel whatever there is to feel. Feel physical, energetic, and even emotional sensations that might be present. Take one more round right here. And then end of your next exhalation, bring your knees back up. And again, take that little rock. Maybe give your knees a big squeeze. We're going to meet on our hands and our knees. So you can get there in your own way, or you can join me in taking a few rocks and rolls forward and back. So rocking along the length of your spine, take a few rounds. And then after you've taken maybe four or five rocks, rock up, cross your ankles, bring your hands to the ground in front of you. So coming onto your hands and your knees, you might need to kind of crawl back so you're nice and centered on your mat. And then let's just start to move through some cat-cow undulations. So inhale, lift the crown of your head, lift your tailbone, feel your front ribs spread. And as you exhale, round, curl in, hollow out, even push the ground away. So back and forth through these two movements with your breath. Make these as big and as exaggerated as you can. So try not to just move through your upper and lower back. And see if you can even find mobility right in the middle of your spine. See if you can stay connected to your breath. Slow, steady, and really spacious. Take about two more rounds, just like this, back and forth. And then slowly come back to just a regular neutral spine, so regular tabletop. Bring your knees hips width distance apart or even just a tiny bit wider. And we'll take thread the needle. So right arm out to the right, all the way up to the sky. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, thread your right arm through, reach through as far as you can and come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. And you can kind of work this however you want. So sometimes I like to press my left fingertips into the ground and use that as a little bit of leverage, to deepen the twist. Sometimes I like to wrap my left arm behind my back so whatever feels right to you, take about three more deep breaths. See if you can feel your breath in your back body. So breathe into the space between your shoulder blades, breathe into your back ribs, and all the way down into your low back, your kidneys. Good, you guys, nice job. If you do happen to have your left hand lifted, Set your left hand back on the ground. Next time you breathe in, unthread your right arm, reach it all the way up to the sky, open up. And exhale, set your right hand down. And then just for a moment, tuck your toes under, lift your knees and lift your hips, downward facing dog. 
So take just a moment to really stretch and to lengthen. So maybe you want to pedal out to your heels here, shift your hips side to side. Can you give your head a little shake, yes or no? Spread your fingers wide. So your hands are your foundation in this pose. Make your hands strong. Press through your fingertips. See if you can find space in your shoulders. So rather than feeling like your shoulders are right up next to your ears, see if you can externally rotate your shoulders out away from your ears. Take one more big deep breath. Imagine there's a rope attached to your belly button. It's pulling up, it's tugging back. And then end of your exhale, just come back down to hands and knees. So gently set your knees on the ground, hips width distance apart, or maybe a little bit wider. We'll take thread the needle with our left arm. So inhale, left arm out and up. And then as you exhale, thread it through. So reach as far as you can. Try to get your left shoulder lined up with your right knee. And then once you're resting down, take this wherever you would like. You might do the same thing you did on the other side. Maybe this side feels different. You wanna try something different. And then big deep breath. Breathe into your back body a lot. So if I came over to you, put my hands on your back. I wanna be able to feel, are you inhaling or are you exhaling? Are you expanding or are you contracting? all the way to emptiness with each exhalation. And at the bottom of each exhale, see if you can even feel your belly button draw back towards your spine. Feel a little connection to your center. A little bit of core engagement. Really nice, you guys. Take about two, maybe three more breaths. Soft through your forehead. Relax through your cheeks and your jaw, even your tongue, the inside of your mouth. And then if you happen to have your right hand lifted, set your right hand back down. Next time you inhale, unthread your left arm and reach it out and up one more time as high as you can. Exhale, set your left hand down. Downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. If you are not sure how far apart your hands and your feet should be in this posture, good way to measure, come forward to a plank position like you're about to do a push up. And then without moving your hands or your feet, just lift your hips, press them back. Maybe you bend your knees a lot. You might walk your feet in an inch or so, but not much. So give yourself enough space so that you can lengthen. Again, your feet are not your foundation here. Your hands are, so make them strong. Spread your fingers, push the ground away. And if there's any movement that's calling to you, feel free to explore. Take one more inhale. Very nice, you guys, good poses. As you exhale, look forward to the top of your mat, forward fold. So however you wanna get there, come to the top of your mat and just hang out in your fold for a moment. I would recommend feet hips width distance apart or maybe even a little bit wider for this first one. All of your toes should face directly forward. And if you want, you can grab opposite elbows or fold your arms overhead. Ragdoll pose. You might have a little or even a big bend in your knees. Try not to rock back into your heels, but instead, see if you can bring your weight just slightly forward. So if I had a piece of paper and I wanted to come and slide it underneath your heels, it'd be really easy for you to just lift them off the ground. Let your neck relax, let your head be heavy. So if you focus on not straightening your legs, but instead focus on lifting your butt, lifting your sit bones as high as you can, that's where you get the stretch in your hamstrings. Breathe deeply. Nice job, you guys. Take one more round. Inhale, halfway lift position. So get all the rounding out of your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. And then as you exhale, fold and bow. Press into your feet. 
Rise all the way up to stand, arms to the sky, breathe in, stretch tall. And exhale, hands to your heart. Flow with your breath for a moment. Inhale, reach up and stretch. As you exhale, hinge at your hips, lead with your heart to get all the way down into your fold. Bend your knees a lot if that feels better in your low back. Halfway lift position. So stick your butt out, reach the top of your head forward, gaze down so the back of your neck stays long. And exhale, let it go, fold in. All the way to empty in your breath. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, reverse swan dive all the way to stand, arms reach up. Good, exhale, hands to your heart center. One more time, just like that, it's a half sun salute. Inhale, reach up and stretch, high mountain. Exhale, let your heart lead all the way down. So traction out your spine, then fold in. Breathe in, lift halfway, spine parallel to the ground. Press back through the tops of your thighs. Exhale, fold, let it go. Root through your feet, rise back up, heart leads. Arms reach, inhale. Nice work, exhale, hands to heart center. All right, this time, inhale, reach up, and then pause here. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Pull your upper body to the right and shift your hips to the left. You might even bring more weight into your left foot, or if you want, you can reach your right tiptoes out to the right to stay really light on your right tiptoes. Make sure your bicep, your left bicep, is next to your ear rather than in front of your face. So keep your left shoulder back and down, plugged into the socket. Breathe into your left waistline, left rib cage. Take one more big spacious breath to reach even further. Inhale, come back to center, both feet on the ground, switch your grip. So grab your right wrist and then other side up and over. So imagine you're trying to create a crescent moon shape with your body, right? Shoulder stays back and down. Gently tug with your left arm as you resist with your right arm. You choose what you want to do with your left foot. So maybe left tiptoes out to the left. Totally up to you. One more round. Big, huge breath. Inhale back to center. And then exhale. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. So shoulder blades squeeze towards your spine. And if you want more, you can even press your palms together. Try not to lock out your elbows and start to reach your hands back away from your body. Stay here if this feels like enough or option to add a little back bend. So lift your heart. Don't let your head just collapse back, but puff up through your chest. Create a little baby back bend. Hug in with your inner thighs. Press your hips gently forward. Take one more big inhale. Keep your hands clasped, and as you exhale, heart leads. Take it all the way down into your fold. So neck is relaxed, head is heavy. Bend your knees a lot if that helps. Take your feet out wider if that helps. See if you can focus on lifting your butt up, lifting your knuckles up. Possibly even start to reach your knuckles slightly forward. So really work that stretch in the front of your shoulders. So you can get your shoulders to, yeah, take one more big inhale. Exhale, hands to your low back, then release your clasp. Let your arms hang down. You can shake them out for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift position. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank or modified plank. So take a moment, find your strength, push the ground away, inhale. And as you exhale, all the way down to your belly. Bring your hands out to frame your mat. So they're on the carpet, fingertips on the ground, elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your heart, Spider-Man Cobra. Exhale, take a little twist to your right side and dip your left shoulder down a little bit. Good, inhale back to center. The wider your hands are, the more space your shoulders have to move. Exhale, other side, twist. Inhale back to center. 
Make sure your hands are nice and wide. Go one more time each direction, moving with your breath. Good job. Feel into your shoulder girdle. Feel into your front body, back body, side bodies, even your lower body. Eventually an inhale will bring you back to the center. Heart lifts, belly tones. You can let it go whenever you're ready. Meet in a tabletop position, hands and knees. All right. From your hands and your knees, let's take a modified side plank. So you're gonna pivot on your right knee and bring your right foot to the ground behind you. Take your left leg back, left arm up. How's that, Garth? If it's too much, you can keep both knees on the ground, no big deal. Nice job. So left foot can stay down, or maybe you wanna float your left foot up, make your left leg strong and powerful. Option to take your left arm forward and work the legs through your left side. This is a perfect place to stay. Or final option, only if you want to take it. So don't force anything. Bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot, and then start to kick foot in the hand, pull hand back into foot. See if you can let your heart look up towards the sky just a little bit. Make sure you're still breathing slow, steady, spacious. One more round, your fullest expression today. And then end of your exhale, slowly let it go. Come back to your hands and your knees, tabletop position. Bring your knees together and walk your hands off the right side of your yoga mat. Sit your hips back and to the left. See if you can press your left armpit down a little closer to the ground. And then breathe into your left side. Yeah, take one more round. Inhale, rise up. Keep your knees together. Walk your hands through center off the left side of your mat. Same thing. So hips back into the right. You might even kind of lean over to the right as you reach to the left. See if you can press your right armpit down even just a little bit. Good, last round here. And then rise back up. Bring your hands back to center. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, down back. Nice job, friends. Reconnect to your breath if you've lost it. Next time you inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Stretch and lengthen. And then exhale. Step your right foot all the way up to the top of your space. You choose. You can lower your back knee down. Stay with a low lunge or back knee lifted for high crescent lunge. So hips are square. And imagine that you're trying to pull your front hip back, back hip forward. So that's how you find stability. Good, nice work. Take one more big inhale, lift through your heart, maybe even gaze up. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down. Your legs stay the same. We're just gonna add a twist. So left hand on the ground, right arm to the sky. Open up through the right side of your chest, the right side of your heart. Yeah, imagine you're trying to drag your right hip back, but at the same time, your right knee is magnetized to your left armpit. Awesome work. See if you can breathe down into your belly and then use your exhale to twist just a little bit further. Take one more deep breath. End of your exhale, let that go. Walk your hands over to the left long edge of your mat, parallel your feet and straighten out both legs. So all 10 toes face directly forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Stick your butt out, reach the top of your head forward. And then exhale, you can either fold or if there's any other way you wanna move or explore this pose, go for it. About five rounds. Just like in your regular forward fold, try not to rock back into your heel. Keep your weight just slightly forward. Yeah, good. So if you're working the fold, just focus on lifting your butt up, crown towards the ground. 
So your heels can still be on the ground. There's just not a lot of weight there. See if you can breathe even deeper and even imagine your breath moving down the backs of your legs. Last couple rounds right here. Soften your face. Unclench your jaw. So not forcing, not screening, just gently encouraging yourself into a deeper variation of your own pose. Last deep breath. Next time you inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Crawl your hands to the top of your yoga mat. Rotate your toes forward. And then we're going to balance. Right foot roots down, left leg floats up. Standing splits, or just think of this as a one-legged forward fold. So I do not care how high your left leg goes, but try to make your left foot active. So spread your toes or point your toes or flex your foot. Relax your neck just like you would in a forward fold. See if you can find your core strength. So use your belly button, pull it in and up. Take one more big inhale, lift your left leg a little higher. Nice job. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. You can give your right leg a little shake out if you want. Good work. Inhale, lift halfway and lengthen. Exhale, bow and fold. Root through your feet, rise to stand. Arms to the sky, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart. All right. Inhale, reach up. And then this time, bend your left elbow. Bring your right hand to your left elbow and gently coax your elbow down and to the right. Try not to look down, so keep your chin lifted. Press the back of your head into your arms. This is a perfect place to stay, or if it is available to you, you can take your right arm behind your back and maybe find a class. Stay where you're at, or last option, add a side body stretch. So you can do that with your right hand on your elbow or your right hand behind your back. Hips go left. The crown of your head reaches over to the right. Breathe. Try not to bury your chin in your chest. Keep it slightly lifted. So back of your head presses into your arm behind you. Take one more deep breath. Inhale, come back to center. Both arms reach up. Exhale, bend your right arm. Bring your left hand to your right elbow. And then encourage your right elbow down into the left a little bit. Keep pressing your head into your arm. And then if you want, only if it works for you, left arm behind your back, find that class. Final option, at the side body stretch. So you can stop anywhere along the way. Just find what feels most beneficial for you. Never forcing or straining. Make sure you can breathe. Soft through your face, press the back of your head into your arm. One more full round on this side. Good breathing. Come back to center, arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms with a little baby back bend. See if you can squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades towards your spine as you curl open. Inhale, re-extend and realign. And then exhale, stick your butt out, reach your heart forward, take it all the way down and fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, let it go, plant your hands, step back to plank or feel free to come to your knees, modified plank. Inhale, push the ground away, strong through your arms and your belly as you exhale, lower all the way down. Just like we did before, bring your hands nice and wide for Spider-Man Cobra. Honestly, I feel like the wider, the better, the more you get out of it. Lift your heart when you're ready, but don't go as high as you usually would. So stay a little lower and then bend your left knee, press into your left fingertips, roll onto the outside of your right hip and try to reach your left toes towards the ground behind you. Let your right shoulder kind of dip down and feel that nice stretch there. Make sure you're still breathing. Big, deep breaths. Yeah, nice work. End of your exhalation. Come back through center. 
Left leg straight now, bend your right knee. Press into your right fingertips, roll up and over onto the outside of your left hip. Looks like your right leg is a scorpion tail behind you. Try to point your right knee up and your right toes down towards the ground. Yeah, let your left shoulder dip down a little bit. One more big spacious breath. Nice work, end of your exhale, slowly release. Let it all go. Press up to hands and knees. So hands frame your mid wrists. Press up to your tabletop. From your tabletop, pivot this time on your left knee so your left foot comes to the outside of your mat. It's like a little kickstand, it helps a lot with your balance. Right leg reaches back, right arm to the sky. And that bothers your knee, Garth. You can keep both knees on the ground, totally fine. So right foot can stay down or you can float your right leg up. And then right arm reaches forward and lengthen your right side. This is a perfect place to stay. So please feel free to stay here. Otherwise, next step, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Once you've got it, gentle leverage to work your pose deeper. So kick foot in the hand, pull hand back into foot. See if you can let your heart look up and then make sure your breath is still right there with you. Soften around the pose, soften your outer shell. Take one more round. End of your exhale, nice and easy. Let it go. Come back to hands and knees. And then again, bring your knees together. Walk your hands off the left side of your mat. And reach your hips back into the right. See if you can walk your hands a little further this time. You find more space through your right side body. Push your right armpit towards the ground as you reach your hips back into the right. Maybe even lean to the right a little bit with your hips. Next inhale, lift back up. Walk your hands through center. Take them off the other side. Pull your hips back into the left. Breathe. Left armpit presses down. Your hips might lean further to the left. One more round. And then rise up. Back to center, hands to your mat. Downward facing dog. Good, nice poses, you guys. From your down dog, next inhale, take your left leg to the sky. And then as you exhale, step your left foot all the way up to the top of your mat. So push the ground away as you step your foot forward. You choose back knee can stay down or back knee lifts up, rise as you are ready. So your front knee is over your front ankle, hips are square. Pull your front hip back, back hip forward. Little tone in your belly. So draw your belly button in and up, lift your chest. Maybe even try a little gaze up. Make sure your breath is there, slow and steady. Just feel whatever there is to feel. Take one more, inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Keep your right hand or your right fingertips on the ground. Add your twist, revolve, lunge. So open through the left side of your heart. Reach up through your left fingertips and maybe even gaze up at your left fingertips. Nice, you guys. Notice if you're gazing back behind you and see if you can use your gaze to encourage your spine longer. So gaze forward to the left or up at your left finger. You choose, but feel the length in your spine and then breathe all the way down into your belly. Use your exhale to twist just a tiny bit further. Nice job. End of your exhale, unwind. Walk your hands over to the right long edge of your mat. Parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. All right, listen here. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your hips and then all the way up to stand. Yeah, all right. Pivot your heels in, point your toes out, bend your knees, 
come down into this wide-legged squat position. You want your knees to line up over your ankles. So if you need to adjust your feet, do so. Bring your hands to your thighs and get as low as you can. So sit your butt as low as it will go. Press into the outer edges of your feet and try to press your knees back behind you. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, turn towards the back of your mat, little twist, your left shoulder can dip down, gaze back over right. Yeah, press your knees open even more. Take one more round of breath. Inhale through center, lift your heart. Exhale towards the front. So right shoulder dips down, gaze back over left, breathe. Little faster, one more time each way. Inhale through center, stay low, exhale, twist to the back. Inhale, center, exhale to the front, knees wide. Inhale, back to center, straighten out your legs, parallel your feet once again. Good, take your arms to the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back and down. So shoulder blades squeeze towards your spine. If you can, reach your hands back and then lift your heart, lift your gaze. Take one more in-breath. Keep your clasp. Exhale, stick your butt out, reach your heart forward. All the way down into your fold. So to balance here, you have to use some core strength. Use your core to lift your butt, lift your sit bones, and then crown towards the ground. Lift your knuckles as high as you can. So work the opening in the fronts of your shoulders. Take about two more rounds. Good. End of your next exhale, bring your hands to your low back first, then release your cloth. Let your hands come down to the ground. Take about two more rounds wherever you want to go. So just hanging out in your fold. If there's any way you want to explore, feel free. Reconnect to your breath if you've lost it. One more round where you're at. Next, inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, back to a low lunge and then root into your front foot, standing splits, right leg floats up. I do not care how high your right leg goes, but try to energize through your right toes. So spread them or point your toes or flex your foot, relax your neck, hug in with your left inner thigh, lift from your center. See if you can figure out how to use your core. Take one more big inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Set your right foot down, top of your mat. If you want to, you can give your left leg a nice little shake out. Good job, you guys. Next inhale, lift halfway. And then listen, exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top of your push up, push the ground away. One strong straight line all the way down to your belly. So we're gonna stay on our belly. Turn your head to the left. Reach your right arm out to the right with your palm facing down. Your hand should come straight out from your shoulder. Roll up onto your outer right hip for shoulder pigeon. Yep, you got it. So you can bring your left foot down behind you if you want. You can keep your left foot out in front of you if that feels better, or you can even keep your legs in kind of a fetal position. Left arm can reach up and you can bring your left arm to your lower back, or maybe you like to keep your left hand out in front of you and kind of use it as leverage to deepen your pose. Make sure you can relax your neck and let your head rest down. Breathe. Good. We'll be here for about four or five more breaths. So the longer we are here, see if you can relax even more. Good. 
Feel free to exhale out your mouth anytime. And of your next exhalation, take it all the way to empty. And then slowly let it go. Come back to your belly. And for just a moment, stay on your belly. Turn your head to the other side. You can bring your arms to kind of a cactus or goalpost position. Or maybe you just bring your arms to rest down by your sides. Palms face the sky. And just rock your hips a little side to side. Or take your knees out a little bit wider than your hips and bend your knees. Windshield wiper your shins. Breathe down into your low belly, low back. Good. And then if you're taking those windshield wipers, let them go. So just set your legs down. Your head is already turned to the right. Reach your left arm out to the left. Palm faces down. Your hand comes straight out from your shoulder. And then roll up onto your left side. Yeah, good job. So right foot can come down behind you. Right foot can stay out in front of you. Or fetal position with your legs. And then you choose. Right hand can stay on the ground or take your right arm up and back. Breathe. Face is soft. Neck is relaxed. Just notice whatever's there without judgment, but just observation. You might notice if this side feels different than the other side. Good, you guys. Think about four more. Last couple of breaths, if you'd like, side out your mouth. Uh, and then when you feel pretty even on both sides just come back onto your belly again turn your head the other direction bull post your arms or arms down by your side same options you can rock your hips out or you can windshield wiper your shins Good, let that go. So bring your legs back to the ground. Bring your forehead to the ground for a moment. Exhale all your air out. And as you inhale, lift your chest, lift your legs, reach your hands back towards your heels. Try not to widen your legs, but hug in with your inner thighs. And if it's available to you, you can clasp your hands reach your knuckles back lift your heart even higher awesome take one last huge breath lift 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 good work let that go press up and back to a child's pose knees can be nice and wide or knees can be together somewhere in between hips all the way back to your heels or if it feels better you can keep your hips a little higher in the air Try to relax as much as you can. Sometimes I like to move my hips side to side just a little bit or roll my forehead side to side against the ground. Nice work. One last big breath here. And then rise up to hands and knees. We'll come all the way down onto our backs now. So however you want to get there, whichever direction you want to face, doesn't matter to me. 
come all the way down and just like we did at the very beginning, draw your knees in, take a little rock from side to side. Set your feet on the ground with your knees bent. And then extend your right leg straight up towards the sky like you're trying to plant your right foot on the ceiling. Take a few circles through your ankle. Slow, intentional circles, feeling those little snap, crackle pops. And then reverse. Good. Flex your right toes back towards your shin. Supine pigeon. So figure four, bring your outer right ankle to the top of your left thigh and use the strength in your right leg to press your right knee forward and away from your body. If this feels like enough, stay here. Otherwise, option to lift your left foot, thread your right hand through that hole in your legs and grab hold behind your left thigh or in front of your left shin. Pull in with your arms, but keep resisting with your legs. So you're not rounding your spine and getting your legs as close as you possibly can, but you're keeping a nice neutral spine. So you're pulling in with your arms, pressing away with your legs, creating stability as you create mobility. You can rock a little bit if you want to. Breathe down into your hips. Notice if you're tightening through your face, clenching through your jaw. Let those places that don't need to be working, let them relax. Let them soften. Think about three more deep breaths. Very nice, you guys. If you do have your left foot lifted, set your left foot on the ground once again. And then extend your right leg all the way back up. Keep that flexion through your toes. So press up through your heel. And then leading with your heel as slow as you can, as mindfully as you can. Lower your right leg all the way down. So it's extended out in front of you eventually and just resting on the ground. Yeah, once your right leg is resting down, draw your left knee up towards your belly. See if you can wrap your hands around the front of your left shin and then give your knee a big squeeze up towards your left armpit. So squeeze your knee in and up and take a big Buddha belly breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now loosen your grip on your leg and move into a spinal twist. So Scoot your hips over to the left just a little bit. Reach your left arm out to the left. Roll onto your right side. As best you can, root down through the back of your left shoulder. If it lifts a little bit, that's fine. Gaze up or over your left shoulder. Breathe. Good, couple more rounds. See if you can relax with your exhales, soften around the twist, melt into the pose. End of your next exhalation, come back to center. You can bring your feet to the ground to kind of get your hips back in line with your shoulders. And then draw your knees in, gently rock it out. Feet on the ground, knees bent. Extend your left leg straight up towards the sky like you're trying to plant your foot on the ceiling and then circle through your ankle. Maybe you even just point and flat. Just find that mobility through your ankle and feel all the little tiny tendons, bones, ligaments moving around inside. 
you're taking circles, reverse them. And then find dorsal flexion. So toes flex back towards your shin. Figure four, supine pigeon, outer left ankle, top of your right thigh. Stay right here with your right foot on the ground if this feels like enough. Or lift your right foot. Grab hold behind your right thigh or in front of your right shin. And remember, you're not just trying to pull your legs as close as you can. You want to keep a nice neutral spine. So as you pull your legs in with your arms, keep resisting, pressing away with your legs, stabilizing as we stretch. And if you want to rock it out, feel free. Big deep breath. Think about three more right here. And then if you do have your right foot lifted, set it back down. Extend your left leg straight up one more time. Flex through your toes, press up through your heel. And ever so slowly, mindfully lower your left leg down. So keeping it nice and long. And once your left leg is resting on the ground, draw your right knee up, hug. Your hands hug the front of your shin and then squeeze your knee up towards your armpit. Big, huge Buddha belly breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And you can kind of loosen your grip. Reach your right arm out to the right. Scoot your hips over to the right just a little and then roll onto your left side for that twist. Gaze up or over your right shoulder and try to stay nice and broad through your shoulders and your collarbones. Really see if you can start to let your body relax and give in to gravity. Just really let yourself be held. Last couple of rounds right here. End of your next exhale, bring it back to center. Take your hips back in line with your shoulders. You can use your feet on the ground to help. And then one last time, draw your knees in, gentle rock. Happy baby pose. So soles of your feet face the sky. Grab your feet if you can. If that's too much, grab your ankles or even your shins. Flex your toes, pull down with your arms, press up through your heels. If you want, you can explore a little bit. You can rock, you can extend one leg, then the other, even both at the same time. So any little bits and pieces of exploration in your happy baby. And then just start a transition into your own final relaxation. So we are at the top of the hour. If you have time to stay just a couple more minutes, I think this is the best part of practice, just to relax, let go. Let your body simply just soak in all the efforts of your practice. If you need to sneak away, that's totally fine. So at this point, you can let your breath become completely effortless. Let your eyes just rest heavy in their sockets. And give yourself these last couple moments not to do anything at all, but to simply relax and just be.
I'm not trying to change or fix or control, not trying to figure anything out, but just feeling whatever there is to feel flowing through. Next time you inhale, breathe all the way down into your belly. And then open your mouth, sigh it out. Ah. Start to wiggle through fingers and toes. And if you want, you can even give yourself a nice little forehead or temple massage. Maybe take a full body stretch. And as you're ready, no rush, just roll into a fetal position on either side. And take a couple of breaths there. Really just letting your practice settle inside of you, absorb into you. And then use the strength in your arms guide yourself up into seated meditation facing towards the front edge of your mat just for one last moment so sit up as tall as you can close your eyes gather your hands to your heart in prayer position just bow your head to your own heart and acknowledge yourself for taking time to slow down, become more present, more aware, to get, connect with a deeper part of you. Thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. And then there were four. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just rain on there. Thanks, Rena. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.